Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Project High Rise here today. Now this right here is gonna be a treat to all of you Sim Tower fans out there, just to give you a bit of a heads up of what to expect with Project High Rise over here. I've been playing this game a bit off camera for a couple of days now, and I've been toying with the idea of either a one shot, a series. I really am leaning towards a series, but I figure right now I'm kinda of really stocked up on what I'm doing in the channel. So we'll do a one shot, and if you guys are interested, we'll probably consider doing a series afterwards. But right now I just wanna show you the basics of Project High Rise. So without further ado, let's get into the game. So let's see, we're gonna go with Magnificent Towers. It's actually not a bad name, but I'm gonna go with 6969 Woodland Drive. <laughs> yeah. You know I had to fit everything in there that's in that's what she said. Stop. Uh, difficulty, I'm sorry, I, I just, I have a lot of fun with this game, so I'm really excited about playing it. Uh, difficulty level standard's fine. I want to go with the extra low. Come on, this is just becoming comical at this point. 69, 69, Woodland, extra large. Let's just start. Alrighty, guys, and this right here is where everything will be taking place. So, here at the bottom, we kind of have, like, our underground area. Essentially, for the most part, underground, you'll probably want to be building stuff for your employees. Like, you know, have, like, copying rooms, like, you know, carrier services, copy machines, etc. For the most part, you want to focus on ground and above for offices, you know, restaurants, cafes, apartment build or apartment complexes, I should say, studio apartments, whatever you want to go with up above. Here we come, here we have our first couple of workers. We can actually speed up the game here. Let me really quickly pause and show you what's happening over here. So for instance, here at the moment, um, you're telling me about contracts, right? If we start up over here, we already have one um, contract that we start off with, which is a proof of concept. Essentially, the city's Department of Planning and Development wants to encourage small landlords, which is us, to improve their buildings. Reach a daily rent revenue of a thousand to be awarded neighborhood development grants. So, this already gave us five hundred dollars up front, and once we complete it, we'll get five hundred dollars more, and we'll also get ten buzz. Now, with buzz, I'm not talking about how good you feel after a couple of drinks, but you're not exactly quite drunk just yet. Not that type of buzz. We're talking about the buzz you actually use to, like, you know, spread word about your building over here. So, buzz is generated by popular retail stores restaurants and some offices. So the better you're doing over here, the more people will talk about your building. That'll actually bring in higher clientele. You'll have your businesses flourishing and you'll also have like other people that want to move in to have their, an apartment here or have a restaurant or have an office and they'll pay higher rent the higher buzz goes as well. Over here we have prestige level which essentially, essentially will dictate the quality of built or at least quality of offices and restaurants you'll be able to build so that takes a while to build up but keep that in mind as well. If we go to our contracts as we saw we have this one now we also have another extra one we could pick up we could do two at a time mind you. This one I feel takes a bit longer because you need to actually get up to a 50 population for your building so I'm going to go with basic offices instead so we'll sign this one over here. Now for basic offices what they're asking of us to do is to actually have four insurance agents, four accountants, four lawyers, and four creatives as well. Okay, so with that done, what I like to start off with over here is breaking this down right here. Now this is going to be like an electrical generator room if I'm correct. Let me see what that's called properly. Wiring closet. Now the reason why I did that is because down here we have a electrical transformer which essentially dictates the amount of power going through your building. So the more offices you have, the more of these you will need. This is going to be the low level one if I'm correct. So you can add this one which is going to be 50 electrical connections and then we have the 150 but obviously these cost a lot of money and a lot of upkeep per day so we start off really small so since we have that one already it's going to be more than enough for now let's go over here to water i like to do this really early on because i like to have a couple of um, restaurants on the ground level so we'll place the water one right here now we have a way to put water up on the upper level floors however we're not done right there as you saw i broke this down initially which is the wiring closet this is going to actually bring the power from down below up to all the, uh, up to the offices and restaurants above. So, so we have the power and the... This is going to be power, phone, and cable TV. We're also going to do the same with the water one. And this is something I like to do early on, so I know going in the future where my cables are going to be. Because sometimes if you don't actually plan ahead, you'll have to put one of these guys like in the middle of like uh, a level and it's kind of like really all wacky. And I'm kind of like really OCD when it comes down to this. I got to have like, you know, a level of these water dudes going straight up and a level of these cable dudes going straight up. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, ah, doesn't look good. So that's cool. We're now kind of set up. Let me have these guys run in the background here. They don't have anything to build at the moment, so they'll be fine. So what I like to start off with is a restaurant. Now, the restaurants will more than likely need high traffic so people come into work, do their work, go for a break, get like a bagel, I don't know, get like a salad or something. And then when they're leaving for home, if they're too tired to actually go home and cook, they could probably stop by the restaurant and, get, and pick up a snack or some dinner. So if we start off over here, this will be for restaurants. It requires four spots. Now, I love to have a restaurant at the entrance of the building because that's going to be like the high traffic area. So, 
Let's start off by extending our building here. And now the reason I'm not doing it over here is because you see the ladder here. We're going to need this ladder to actually extend upwards going to the future. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And we're going to speed this up. And you guys, hey, you know what? I have a limited amount of time to show these people what I'm talking about here. So you need to go get to work, okay? None of this whole, ah, nah, boss, I'm reading a newspaper. All right, so that's over here set up now. We'll pause and I'll come over here and make myself a little bit of a space for a restaurant of some kind. Don't tell me what to do, lady. I know what to do, okay? So now we click over here, and as you can see, we have a food court restaurant that wants to actually move in. Cafes are saying no because we need at least one level of prestige. So until we actually get that level, we cannot actually have any cafes move in. So if we go to food court restaurants. We only have one person applying. This is going to be Crosby Pike Rules. They want to move in and they'll pay $145 a month for rent, assuming, you know, we treat them well. You could also dictate if you want to reduce the rent and also raise the rent. Assuming your building is doing really good, you could be a dick and just be like, you know what? Pay me twice the amount of rent. And they'll be like, oh, I don't think we should be paying this much rent, but because your building is doing so good and they're doing so much business, they'll be like, okay, fine. But, you know, it, it all depends on how well you're doing. You could be a total dick. I love it. Um, so we have Crosby Pike Rolls, which serves lunch. This is actually a really important thing because certain offices and certain places of business will require you to have, like, um, a focus on lunch, a focus on dinner, stuff like that. So you want to definitely keep that in mind. But here, since we're starting off, it's not a big deal. I will allow these people to move in, and then our workers should go over there and start working on that one. Now, if we remember, this actually required a power line and also water to run through. So you guys run in the background. Let me come over here, and we're going to do power line all the way through here. And then we'll do a water line all the way through there. And that should take care of our restaurant right there. Now we need offices though, because obviously if there's no business in here, who are they gonna sell to? It's gonna be like a giant building that just has like one store or like one little small cafe in it. We can't have that. So this is where we come over to allocate office tenants and it's gonna start doing our basic offices contract. So we could only do small ones here to start off with. So uh, I'm gonna leave this available for our ladders. We'll talk more about this here pretty soon. So I'm gonna set up this office right over here. And we'll even set up a second one we're at it. Right over, excuse me, right over here. Now, over here, as you can see, we already kind of have like this issue where now I have not enough room to add another stuff. But that's not the end of the world, because what I could do here now is if I come over to... Not you. Where, where is this one at? Where is this one? I have a couple of... Here we go. Trash. Perfect. It requires two. Now, trash is going to be required for certain restaurants and certain... um apartments and you need you don't have to you don't have to have like a trash bin in that floor in order for them to empty out their trash and if you don't have that they'll get upset and they'll move out and you know you lose buzz and stuff like that so um, we'll talk more about the trash here pretty soon but we have two empty spaces which is perfect for the trash so we'll keep that in mind we'll definitely skip that one and we'll extend down this way and upwards obviously but now we have we need to hire some people over here so we have insurance offices we have accountant offices we have legal offices as well let's see insurance office is going to be 190 and 100 no, I look, I look normally at the amount of rent they're willing to pay, but afterwards, if they have like a high amount of rent that they'll pay, there's always like a caveat involved. As you can see over here, these people, these account offices require a courier service and also a copy service, which we don't have at the moment. So we'll have to give them that for 125. At 130, we expect courier and copy services as well. Well, insurance is only going to be 100 bucks, but they only expect the copy services. So if you're looking to kind of like, you know, shave a couple of bucks here and there, you can just focus on insurance offices, which we will. So we'll do an insurance office here first. And we're going to go with um, BP Castry and Associates right over here. And then on this bad boy over here, we will do accounting and we'll set up the courier and copy service. It's not a big deal. I just want to show you more of the features, obviously, as you go here. Which is the reason why I'm trying to speed up a bit. If you feel like I'm going too fast, I apologize. But, you know, these Falcon one-shots are only such a limited amount of time. Um, so I'm trying to get a lot of uh, information in here for you. Now, we mentioned this over here. Now, I could set up other floors to go upwards with ladders. The higher the building goes, though, the more people will complain. Like, obviously, nobody wants to go up 20 floors and ladders. I mean, unless you're like a workout freak. And if that's the case, then, hey, kudos to you. I, I, I admire that. But most of the people here are going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm tired of walking 20 floors up to my apartment after a hard day's work. Get me some goddamn elevators. So here's normally where I like to just start setting up elevators right off the bat. And I normally have two of them. I'll have like one elevator service going straight up on the one end. And then I'll have like some places of business over here and another elevator on the other side, which is pretty cool because it funnels um, 
traffic towards both ends. So you can have like, you know, some restaurants focusing on this side and then some other cafes and whatever focusing the other side. And then you kind of give like everybody their own share of the pie. So let's see, let's go into you and we will set up elevator service right on over. Oh, that's that's actually not good. Get that out of the way. <laughs> that's not good, actually. Uh, technically speaking, we should have probably moved this bad boy one in here, and then, because you see how the, the elevator only takes up three spots, while the escalators takes up four. Now, what I could technically do then is now place this like so, and then we could just start building the elevator upwards over here. So that's what exactly we'll end up doing. So with that done, let's start setting up another level of flooring up over here. Not sure why I'm skipping a few here. That's fine. Alrighty. So now we have this office building set up, and since we already have the pre-existing um, power and water line running towards the little small restaurant over here, these people are not going to complain about, hey, no power, no no um, water. Although these offices over here don't require water, I think they only require power and a phone line, which obviously is running through, so that's fine. Um, however, remember, they mentioned needing copy services and courier services. Now. If you are trying to find out how your people are doing, like how your tenants are doing, you can come over on this corner here, and you can click on Satisfaction. And it'll give you like a green, if they're feeling good, it'll be kind of like green, dark green, the better it is. And then if they're dissatisfied, it'll be like red, darker red, etc. So that's one way to kind of gauge how people are doing, and then you kind of want to talk to them, figure out what they need, figure out if they want like a lower rent, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so here we need copier services and the other one, courier services. So courier services... There's no demand. Huh. Well, that's because they haven't moved them, to my knowledge. So we'll do the courier service down here. And let's actually have this run in the background. We will also go ahead and add a few more floors down below. Because why not? And as I mentioned, down below, all you really want is, like, more generators, more of your worker areas, and stuff like that. Game, you're supposed to be running in fast speed, not in slow speed. Alrighty. Now, as you can see, they can't get down here, so we have to set up another... Wait for them to get down. And obviously, once you're talking about your workers, you don't have to worry about elevators. So I'm not going to complain if they have to go down, like, you know, seven floors on the um, ladder system. So you're fine. It's only, the, it's only the tenants I really complain about having to take the, the stairs down and up or whatever. So that's cool. Let's um, get on out of here. We have nighttime. There's also going to be like um, degradation of your apartments, which will take time over, which will take place over time. Um, just basically wear and tear, and also the weather could also affect your building. So um, we haven't really encountered ranges yet, but you know it's our first day, obviously. Total revenue is five hundred dollars. So remember, we still haven't met our just our rent's goal because we just barely made three hundred and seventy in rent. Our goal is going to be a thousand, but we do already have one insurance agent and one accountant already set up here. So, let's see. We did set up, what is this one? This is going to be the courier. We also need the copy center as well. So, let's come down over here and we will do copy, copy, down over here. And I might as well just place that right underneath it. Oh, oh we can't do that because they're still working on that. Right. Righty-o, daddy-o. So, you guys get to work. Alrighty. One of those small things I'll talk about that I mentioned, um, I don't think it's a big deal if you're playing for your own satisfaction. Drat, here comes the rain. Other than causing especially dirty floors, rain means that fewer visitors from outside of the building will be patronizing your restaurants and stores. So, unfortunately, our business is going to be suffering here today, so less um, clientele coming in. So, our, our workers or our tenants might be a bit upset about that. But you know what? I don't control the weather. I control what happens inside. The weather is kind of like God's own business now, my friend. So, let's come over here and set up the elevator finally. Excuse me. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no to the elevator? You give me a goddamn elevator, right? Oh, you want to do the whole stair system now? Because I, I, you're telling me because I went with stairs, I'm stuck with stairs, huh? Eh. Well, whatever. We'll do stairs. I'll just set up the elevator on the other side in case people are that lazy. All right, so with this set up here, let's go and do our... We still need our copy service, right? Because we have the courier. We just need the copy one. Down over here. Okay. So let's go. As I mentioned, though, um... What was I talking about before that woman interrupted me? <laughs> I was talking about something that woman just completely interrupted me here. So we need power for this one bottom side. We can't function without an electrical line. That is where our little um, cabinets come to place over here too. So what I'm going to do on this side is go ahead into power and we'll go into wiring closet. Excuse me, my friend. You need to work with me. Comply with me. Set that like so and then 
Bada bing, bada boom. You should be all set up now. Alrighty. And since we have some money here left over, let's, uh, we could actually get a loan. So if you're feeling like you're running out of money, you could also get a loan just in case. Um, let's start thinking about adding ourselves an office up here, I'm gonna say, which normally requires four. So we'll set that up like so. And let's go into you, you, and let's see. There you go. There you go. And there you go. What do we have available? Insurance offices, we need four of those anyway, so 100. We need to move some electrical power up here, which we will. And then on this side, we'll do an accountant one. 125, and then over here we have legal offices. We'll start moving these people in as well. 130, I will take it. And we also have to set up the proper closets for them. So bam. And we might as well get the water one out of the way too. Electricity. Down through all of here. I know, uh, we got no power. Rabble, rabble, rabble. You, you got your power now, okay? Don't don't complain to me. Now, for water, these do not require it, so I'm going to go ahead and save a little bit of money by not setting up that power, that water line through there. So, that's fine. Alrighty. 370, that's fine. We'll have some more money coming in pretty soon the moment um, we have all these new people start moving in here. So, that's cool. And again, we have two over here available. That'll be my trash bins, more than likely. So, what I technically should be doing is expanding down this way. As we mentioned, four is enough for an office, so we might as well even do that. And then over here, I'll probably set up our elevator, finally. To go up through here. Oh, we need to set up this first. Now, the elevator requires three, so we'll do three. Boom. And then, come up here. And, boom. Alright, and this will be trash can space, and I'm going to leave it empty for now. Let's go ahead and add a few more offices right here. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time we had another little small restaurant up here. Because that's going to actually get a lot of um, traffic from here. So let's do, like, um, one here of the regular offices. We'll do another legal office. Requires a phone line, which we'll be adding pretty soon. And then let's go into restaurant. We might be able to do... Let's see... Can't do the cafe until we have the prestige level. We'll set you guys up like so. And let's see, we need power running through this side. Which should be set up now. And then this place will need water. What do you mean, what do you mean no? What do you mean no service there? Oh, the phone line itself, I had to move. My bad, my bad, I forgot that the power line... Sure, we're using the electrical conductor and everything, but we don't have enough for the thing just yet. Okay, now here we have a problem. Something has displeased one of your tenants. Now they're less satisfied with renting space in your tower. And the problem here is going to more than likely be um, the fact that we don't have enough power, because um, as we mentioned, we are expanding a lot now. That's where all the extra electrical generators come to play. So for that, let's go over here and add a bit more room for our bottom people to start working at. So I'll get you soon. The The longer these people complain, the, the more likely they are to leave as well. So you definitely want to make sure you take care of their needs before they actually book it. These people have, like, no, no patience, mind you. Like, you tell them, hey, I'm working on a big building over here. Nah, I'm right, I need it right now. And then if you don't give it to them now, they just fucking lose their shit. So um, we'll do that right there. And that should be enough power to now be generated up here. I'm pretty sure. Why are you complaining still? Don't, don't be complaining. Not enough phones. Oh, the phone switchboards, which we actually do not have. I should have read that one a bit closer, but it's not a big deal because we need the power one for the future anyway. So for the phone switchboard, we'll come over here and set up our first one like so. Now they're dissatisfied. So we got it done, but because they were complaining, as I mentioned, a couple of minutes, <laughs> a couple of hours, it's kind of like, you know, the end of the world for them, apparently. Alrighty, but they'll, they'll, they'll probably just get um, over it here pretty soon. If they don't, they just leave. And you know what? Good riddance, I say. So we're up to 725 a rent. That's not too bad. I wanted to set up like one more restaurant here and then another office down here. So let's do ourselves. We could also do a small studio apartment. I guess I'll show that off before we wrap it up because we're almost out of time as a matter of fact here. So let's see, just believe me, there's a lot that we haven't even unlocked because there's so much to do. But you know, these one shots are very, very limited how much I could actually show you. Let me do one of you guys. Oh, we actually met the proof of concept one already. Great. So our rent went over a thousand, it does seem. I thought we were doing 700, but okay, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. You wanna give me the free money? Go ahead and do it. And we'll set up like so. And if we can, before we wrap it up, let's try to do an apartment to show what that, that one consists of here. Now the apartments will indeed require, for a fact, the, the trash bin. So, 
Let's get that out of the way now, as a matter of fact. Let's come over here and do trash. Now remember, just having the trash alone is not enough. You have to have a trash compactor down below, because after you they dump the trash off, where do you take it? You take it down below for our people to get rid of it. Oh, not enough room. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's add... Excuse me. Don't tell me no. Oh, it's because it's not yet. Yeah, it's got to meet the same ground level, so we'll do... I guess we'll just put the trash bin right here, then. And then I'll extend... Oh, this is the tricky part. The tricky part is that you cannot build a floor without a floor underneath it. So, for instance, I don't like the fact that you cannot build, like, say... I guess it, make, it makes sense, like, you know, when you think about it, like, constructionally wise but you can't build, like, a floor up this way without having the stability down below. I mean, yeah, I guess it makes sense, you know. Yeah, sure. I mean, I've seen buildings like that with a little bit of a small ledge. I'm not saying, like, to build, like, an entire other floor all the way down to here without no foundation, but, like, you know, a small little, like, three-spot thing? I don't think that's gonna actually crumble beneath, but then again, I'm not a construction worker. I'm not an, uh, an architect, so what do I know? Probably, it's probably best that I don't actually ever get involved with that, because, you know, with my crazy ideas here, apparently would do so well. Um, so for the apartment, how much do we need? We need... That's not it. Up to that. Okay, so we need one more, I'm gonna say. Like so. Like so. Now, keep in mind that the uh, studio apartments, they prefer to be higher up on the ground. So, if you want to set up a few of those, you might want to, like, wait for the third or fourth floor. But, you know, I just wanted to show you uh, show off how this actually plays out. So, now that we have that over here set up, let's go ahead and do our first studio apartment. And, let's see. Anybody want to move in? Yep. 150. They do require water, electrical line, and prefers the upper floors, as I mentioned. And they expect a trash bin, which we have right over here. We also need to set up, as I mentioned, the trash collector room down over here. Okay! And you need something. Legal offices? Sure, why not? And you have everything connected? Not quite. Not quite over here. I'll give you that, and that should be just about... A oh! Water and electricity falcon. We forgot all about that. We just talked about it too, and you forgot about it already. Water, not a big problem. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Alrighty, let's get on out of here. And let's look at our satisfaction rate over here. Couple of greens, so our businesses are actually booming, as a matter of fact, over here. The one at the start, oddly enough, isn't doing so hot, but the ones that we built afterwards are doing relatively good. And hey, look at that, we reached uh, level 1 of Prestige. Pretty badass, right? I know, I really enjoy this game a lot. As I mentioned, if you want to see more of it, do let me know in the comments and by leaving a like, and I'll go ahead and probably do a little small series on this. I'm just have, I have so much fun playing this. And um, all the information for the game will be down below in the description. I'll have a link to the Steam page itself. You will get on a witch listed or keep an eye on it, whatever you want to do. All the information for the game will be down in the description below. As I mentioned, summer sometime soon, I hope. We'll see. I will catch you next time.